so today I'm going to be unboxing and comparing the Baby Jogger City Mini 2 Double and the Baby Jogger City Mini GT 2 Double. So the City Mini 2 Double is Baby Jogger's double stroller, whereas the GT 2 Double is their all-terrain double stroller. So they have slight differences in how they're built um, and a couple of the accessories on the pushchair. So today I'm going to be unboxing and looking at the Baby Jogger Cityman GT2 double push chair. This is Baby Jogger's all-terrain double stroller and has a few really nice features. So getting into the push chair, it all does need building up um, and it is quite heavy. So the GT2 double in slate has got um, black fabrics with grey seat liners, I think. Maybe not seat liners, just seat fabrics. Okay, so it does come quite um, relatively built up already compared to some other push chairs. So all you need to do is kind of take it out of the packet and throw the wheels onto it. So this is probably not the push chair for you if you're just looking for a lightweight push chair. I think it comes in at around 16 kilos, which is quite heavy. So there's that cardboard out. Oh, the fabrics are really soft. They are, feel like really good quality. Okay, so just unclip the auto lock, which is down there, and it unfolds. Lock, and it unfolds like, like that. Quite a big push chair, not for the faint-hearted. Okay, so the fabrics do feel really premium. They're really soft to touch and really plush. You can kind of feel the, see the squidginess as I press onto it. They're nice um, seat and areas as well. They're nice and long and nice and wide for your babies. You can have your close in age babies or you can have a um, few years apart because it goes all the way from tw um, from birth to 22 kilos. So you can use a, I think you can use two carry cots with this push chair or you can use one car seat. Um, so you can have endless amounts of age groups, up to 22 kilos in this push chair, which is really nice. So I just want to put the wheels on it. So these look like the rear tires. So I think the GT2 has foam filled tires. They feel really solid and like they would go over terrain quite nicely. So clip them on. really big front tires as well, which is good because I know some push chairs you get quite small front tires. So this is definitely good for all terrain. Just clip them in. I've got really good suspension as well, I can feel. Okay, yeah, if you, push down on it, you really can feel the suspension working, which is good. It's always nice to see that. So these are the sun canopies. Lovely material. And the inside of it matches the seat, which is always nice. So that clips on that way. Yeah, so slide onto there. Oh bit fiddly there they're on and I think you attach the velcro at the back yes and the sun canopies are on so it's quite easily assem easily assembled which is good put the other one on so this push chair took me about five minutes to set up maybe not even that so it is a really good push chair if you want something that's easily set up something that doesn't take too long yeah, so they both have massive sun canopies, which is great. And they have two viewing windows as well. So one at the front, one at the back. So if baby's sleeping, you want to have a look from the front, you can look without having to bend all the way over. And the same if you're pushing the push chair as well. So you don't have to look all the way into the seat. And it's the same with this one as well. Nice front and back. And you can also roll them up and hook them over like that if you want to, if they want to look at the sky when they're laying in their um, seats. So the sun canopies have a UV of 50 plus, which 
which is great. You can adjust it to there so you can have them seeing out. And then all the way back. So I think this pushchair comes in at about 16 kilos, so it is quite heavy. I mean, there are light pushchairs out there, especially like double pushchairs. It depends what you're looking for, really. I mean, it's not meant to be lightweight. Um, it's not meant to be a kind of city, I guess, pushchair. Even though it's called the City Mini GT2, it's definitely more of an all-terrain, out-in-the-countryside pushchair for your walks, maybe your dog walks. I think the height of it is about 109 centimetres and the width is 77.5 so it will fit through most standard doorways. I mean you might struggle getting it through smaller doorways because I don't think I'd get that through a doorway in my house. So you just have to measure really. But um, yeah I mean it looks lovely, very slick design. It does have front swivel wheels down here which you can see so you can turn these on and off just by pressing that in and they lock like that so press that move it that way and then they lock and then obviously to unlock reverse that action so they're now unlocked it's a really smooth push as i said a massive storage basket underneath so you'll never run out of space in that because that is huge it hasn't got any pockets in it though it's just a big storage basket Nice black chassis as well. So one thing about the City Mini GT2 is that the handlebar height is adjustable. So you can, I think there's three different positions potentially. So you get that one, that one, that one. Oh, four positions, that's good. So it's good for smaller and taller parents. The handlebar is quite nice to hold. It's kind of a kind of rubber. So that's really nice to hold and to push as well. It's quite comfortable. There's no pockets here. However, there are some pockets in the back of the seat. So the recline can be adjusted like this. I think it's an infinity recline, so you can adjust it to any position you want to. There are pockets in the back of the seats for all of your bits and bobs. You can get to the massive storage basket underneath through the back and I think through the sides, which is also really good. One thing about the GT2 double is that it's a hand operated brake, so it's no foot brake. I think the hand is just there. So you just pull it up and the brake's on. And then, okay. So it clips on and then you pull it out, pull the little gray handles out and then it goes down and your brake's off. So the fold, is Baby Jogger's signature fold. So it's the in-chair handles pull to fold. So it is really quick and simple. So literally lift them up and the whole thing just collapses and auto locks. I think it's freestanding if you adjust the handlebar. So if you put it like that, you can stand it up, which is really handy if you're, if you're out and about and you need to just pop it up and stand it somewhere. And then to unfold, I think it has an auto lock on the side. Yep, yeah, auto lock on the side, which you undo, pull out, and pull up, and then the whole thing just all oh, clips into place. Adjust the handlebar, and you're ready to go. So it is a really smart push chair. So the City Mini GT2 RRP is at six six nine to about six eight nine, I think. Um, different prices for different colours. It depends what you want, really. So today I'm going to be unboxing and looking at the Baby Jogger City Mini 2 Double Push Chair. This is Baby Jogger's double stroller. Has quite a nice few features, so we'll look at these. It comes boxed with the wheels taken off, as do most push chairs. These wheels are plastic. No, they are foam. They feel quite plasticky. They don't have air in, I think they're foam filled with a silver center. Oh, they're the rear wheels. So it's got double rear wheels. And then I'm gonna lay this down and slide it out of the box. This is quite heavy. Okay, so this is the City Mini 2 in carbon. So it's got black 
outside and then the seats are dark blue, I think. Right. So that is the City Mini 2. So there's the sun canopies. So if we want to take all of these bits off, we'll have to unfold it. I'm guessing it's got an auto lock, which it does. So you want to unclip that. So there we go. I'll just take this off. So you've got the sun canopy, so I'm going to put the wheels on first. So they're quite, I mean, I don't love these wheels as much as I love the City Mini GT2 wheels. Oh, these are the front, sorry. These are the rear. Just clip them in like that. And this must be the foot brake. Yeah, so that's the foot brake, which is a nice addition. There's the other rear wheel. I'm gonna turn it around and put the fronts on. Very easy and quick to build. Probably takes about five minutes. I know some pushchairs you have to attach things. You have to attach the seat liner, the wheels, the sun canopies, the fabrics of the seat. It does feel quite sturdy. I'll put the sun canopies on. Very easy to attach everything. So the sun canopy just clip on. You have to line them up and slide them on, I think. There we go, just a little pull and then it's done. Same with the other side. Maybe this one will go on easier. Right, they're on. So these are a lovely colourway. The blue fabrics are kind of a melange kind of material. So they have that kind of melange look to them, which is a little bit extra than just the plain black. So the height of this pushchair is 102 centimetres um, by 77.5 centimetres. So it's the same width as the City Mini GT2 double, but it's slightly shorter, probably because it hasn't got an adjustable handlebar height. Um, it's what, seven centimetres shorter. So it doesn't make too much difference if I'm honest. It just hasn't got that convenience of being able to move the handle and adjust it to kind of your height preference. So it might be slightly uncomfortable for some parents. The sun canopies are obviously multiple adjustable positions. Like this, you can shade baby or keep them out in the, in the daylight. There's two peekaboo windows, which are Velcro, which also can be clipped back if you want to. A huge amount of room for baby to sleep in the seats and as well as the three-point harness which clips and unclips really easily. The fabric on the City Mini 2 is probably feels a little bit cheaper than the GT2 but the price point is slightly cheaper. It's also got these forever poles as well which I find quite difficult to adjust. But that might just be me. Got belts over there. Okay, you can get inside the seat. Pockets on the back of the seats, which is lovely. I think it's easier probably to push it and then adjust it like that. Cheers. Pockets on the back of the seats. Ventilation here, which is lovely. I think if you put it all the way down, you can open the vent so maybe you can get some air in the summer, which is really good. Push that back up again. Definitely easier like that. So same as the GT2, it's got a huge amount of underseat storage basket. Instead of a black chassis, this one has an aluminium chassis. I don't know if that's just the colorway um, or if it's across the range. Okay, so the City Mini 2 double has a foot operated brake, which you press down to put it on and then you'll pull it up to press it off. But probably have to do that. It's easier to do with shoes on. 
The only thing about the City Mini 2 is it doesn't have a height adjustable handlebar, so it is just one height. So you might struggle if you're a smaller parent or a taller parent for getting the comfortable position for you. I think this is shown slightly in the price point because the City Mini 2 is a bit cheaper than the GT2. That Them kind of features are probably with a more premium pushchair. See that they are front swivel wheels, which you probably clip up to swivel and then you want to clip down to lock and they lock into place. So that's really neat. They are, I don't know if the footrests are adjustable. Oh, they are. Okay, so you can unclip the footrests and pop it up like that. That's quite neat, I didn't know that. So now the footrest is up, so if you've got a sleeping baby, you can put the footrest up so they can rest. And then you wanna fold it back in, flip it back in, and it pops back down again. So it's just one position for the footrest. It's quite a nice, you know, jazzy badge on the side, to be honest. If you can see in the light that it does kind of glisten, which is really nice. With the swivel wheels, swiveling it is a really nice push it glides quite nicely across the carpet this one's definitely more of a city push chair um although the width of it being quite wide it is supposed to fit through standard doorways but i guess it's something you can never really tell because doorways are all different sizes so lastly you've got the fold of the C city mini 2 double push chair um it's got baby joggers signature fold in it so you pull the handles in the seats so you literally pull it up and it auto locks and self stands as well which is really neat so it's really easy to fold up when you're out and about if you pop to nursery and need to quickly fold it up when you pop inside and just stand it outside and then i'm guessing it's quite easy to unfold as well if you find the auto lock on the side Pull that open, pull the push chair up and it's unfolded. So it, it does fold and unfold really, really easily, even though it's quite a heavy push chair. I think it's about 14.7 kilos. So it's a little bit lighter than the GT2 double, but I guess the features are all very similar. It's got really small um, differences between the two models. So the baby jogger, City Mini 2 RRPs at about 519, and um, which I think is a really reasonable price for this kind of push chair. I mean, it's a double, so it's a really big push chair, really premium fabrics, um, wide seats, tall seats, massive sun canopies. I think it's really, yeah, I think it's a good price for this kind of push chair. So if we're looking at the City Mini 2, which is on the right versus the GT2 on the left, um, you can clearly see that the wheels are different. So the City Mini 2 definitely has more city-like wheels. They're, they're, they're foam or rubber, but they're definitely more of a plasticky feel, a lot more lightweight, and there's two wheels on the front of each side, and the back has slightly thicker wheels. They are the same size, roughly, whereas the GT2 double has um, more all-terrain wheels. So they're, I think these are forever, maybe forever foam or just foam filled tires. Um, they are really nice and definitely could work over all terrains. Other than that, the push chairs are really similar. I mean, the GT2 is slightly taller. Um, I think the GT2 comes in at about 109 centimeters, but this can be adjusted because of the handlebar adjustments which can be made, whereas the City Mini 2 doesn't have handlebar height adjustment. So this is 102 centimeters tall, this push chair. They're both exactly the same width at 77.5 centimeters wide. So the seats will be the same width as well. They both have adjustable footrests, um, which will be in exactly the same way. So they unpop, you can adjust it like that, pop that down and clip it back in. And that one does exactly the same like that when you want to. They both have the same size storage baskets. They fold exactly the same. Um, the seat fabrics on the GT2 are definitely nicer than the seat fabrics on the two, just because they just feel foamy, whereas these ones are quite solid. I mean, that might not matter too much to people, but I just quite like the feel of this one. The sun canopies. 
open up at the same the same amount, so they're all extendable sun canopies. Difference is these are magnetic, so all of these peekaboo windows are magnetic, which is a really nice touch, whereas these ones are Velcro, so they're a little bit fiddlier. Maybe not as easy to use, but it's just very small. The seats recline exactly the same. They're both suitable from birth to 22 kilos. Both really fashionable push chairs. So the City Mini GT2 is about 16 kilos, whereas the City Mini 2 double is 14.7 kilos. And they both fold in exactly the same way. So I'm just gonna put the handle up like this to show this one. So pull to fold and it folds really easily and then stands. Exactly the same with this one, pull to fold, pull it, it clips in an auto lock and then you can fold it like that. So they fold exactly the same. So I'm just going to unfold these to show you the um, different brakes. So they both unfold exactly the same, just clip off. That wasn't as elegant. So this push chair has a foot brake. As you can see down there, it clips on and off, which is quite difficult to clip that off without shoes. Whereas the GT2, as I spin that around, just adjust the handle. This one has a hand operated brake. So you operate it here, pull it up and then push it off. So the brakes are slightly different. This one's obviously the hand operated brakes definitely more for the all-terrain push chair because you take it outside. Um, it's operated much more like a, a bike than this one. So this one's got the wire like you would have on a bike. So that is the Baby Jogger City Mini GT2 versus the Baby Jogger City Mini 2 push chair. Um, these are both available to buy online at buggybaby.co.uk and you can also find out more information about them um, on there as well. So yeah, thank you for watching.